All right, joining us now is Alamogordo Softball as they get ready for their season this weekend. They're headed to the Las Cruces Tournament where they'll play uh, four games, and that'll be on Friday and Saturday. Head coach uh, Charlene Reyes, assistant coach Ronnie Reyes. Coach, Char, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Happy to have you here. And, um, well, first off, if you want to introduce this uh, this crew that you got with you, and you've got uh, six of the Lady Tiger Fast Pitch players right. with you I've today. I've got three seniors, Bianca Granados, Asiana Herrera, and Ayana Jones. I've got three juniors, Brandy Cunningham, Tori Burunda, and Taylor Murphy. Ladies, how are we today? Good. Good. <laughs> Ronnie, how are you doing today? I'm good. Good. Happy to have you here. Glad to have everybody in the studio today. Um, Coach, you know, you guys came off a third-place finish last year, had a great tournament run with a younger group, so they got a lot of experience at State. And so now you've got uh, a little bit more, you know, overall varsity experience this year. It seems like it should be a pretty solid year for you guys. Well, we're excited. We hope so. Um, we only lost two last year. Of course, one of those was a crucial position at, at uh, on, uh, on the mound. You know, as a role of pitcher and fast pitch, it's a it's a pretty important position to lose. But we have some kids that have come up and, and come back, and I think they're ready and raring to go. Yeah, I think you've got uh, a lot to choose from here. We'll, uh, we'll just start from left to right. We'll start with Brandy. And I'm sure she's excited to be the first one <laughs> down. But, Brandy, i got to think for you, just being able to get out there and, and play the season. I know you've been fighting injuries, uh, it seems like. You've got to be pumped for, uh, for the season to start. Yeah. yeah, I'm very excited to play this year. I've been. <laughs> yeah, you, you've been fighting through those injuries, and well, well and tell tell people I mean, what, what did you have to fight through last year? Uh, I had tore my ACL, so I had to come back from that. Yeah, and so healthy, complete, 100 percent. You feel good going into the season? Yes. All right, very good. And you're going to be out there in the field and doing some pitching as well. Yes, sir. Okay, sounds good. Yes. <laughs> now over to Ayana, who is just as excited to get on the mic as well. Ayana, who, you know, you really stepped up, and it, it felt like you had a, a bigger role last year. Was that exciting for you to be uh, more into what you guys were doing, both offensively and defensively? Yeah, it was. Yeah? No, you're good. You're excellent. It's fine. <laughs> um, what was I mean? What was that experience like for you? How do you think that prepared you maybe better for this season now that, you know, you're a senior and do you feel, you know, extra prepared going in into this year? I feel like I know what I'm doing now. Like, What, what is the difference? I mean, for somebody who maybe hasn't played softball before, what is that difference like to maybe when you were a sophomore or a junior? How does that feel on the field for you? I feel like I'm getting better. Like, yeah. I've improved overall. Yeah. Have you worked on your hitting in the offseason? A lot. A lot. All right. Yeah. And and fielding, I know we were talking before. We, we, have, we haven't said exact positions for everybody yet <laughs> out there in the field, but... Um, defensively, are you feeling the best that you have going into a year? Yeah, I am. Yeah? Feeling good. Okay, very good. All right, we'll head over to Asiana here, who she, uh, again, another person very excited to get on the <laughs> mic here. <laughs> Asiana, I mean, you, uh, over the la last two seasons have really, uh, last year your role improved greatly. Now I'm sure Coach is going to be looking to you even more. You're going to be a bit, obviously being a senior this year, Coach is going to be looking for you, obviously, in a leadership role and making and doing more out there in the field and maybe leading the team a little bit. Is that exciting for you going into the season? Yeah. yeah. Talk about, I mean, what, what, what do you feel like you need to do to, you know, to be a senior leader on this team? What are some of the things they look for you to do? Just step up more and um, if we need help with something to help with the younger ones. Okay, very good. <laughs> Bianca, a senior as well, who of course uh, was very busy at the plate last year, and uh, also you know uh, some action there in the field. But Bianca, I mean, your your hitting was big in the state tournament last year. Are you feeling even more confident going into it this season? Yes, very confident. I'm excited. Yeah, um, this team. I mean, do you guys feel like this is one of the best teams? I mean, is this one of the best teams you've played on? Uh, if you've been playing high school softball? Yes, I do. I feel like we got very very close ever since state and i feel like we're stronger now together and we know how each other how we play with each other and it just keeps getting stronger every day at practice all right very good tori i can't believe you're a junior how did that happen i don't know okay i'm just curious it seems like same goes for for brandy and taylor as well you guys have been playing for uh, a number of years now yeah um being a junior now and being one of the the older players on the team is that different to you or does it feel kind of the same as when you were a freshman and, and last year i don't know it feels kind of the same i just have to step on my game more every year yeah where do you feel better at going into this year i mean hitting fielding where, where are you feeling everywhere great everywhere yeah. okay all right well we'll be watching for that it's going to be improved all across the board right yeah okay 
Taylor, um, I, I'd say the same thing for you. I mean, is is this going into this season feel different than previous years now that you're a junior, now that I'm sure Coach is looking to you as, as somebody who's going to be a leader on this team? Mm, yeah, it does a little bit because they look towards us to be leaders for the younger ones. Yeah, and there's a lot of younger. That's a thing that's great about this program is, you know, just a couple years ago, you were that eighth grader. You yeah. were that freshman, and now you've got this younger group of eighth graders and freshmen that are coming in. Um, do you feel like you learned from the upperclassmen when you were that young and how to, to help those players along? Yes, and we had good seniors when I was an eighth grader, so they taught us well. Yeah. Ronnie, I mean, talk about that. The fact that you guys, I mean, you, you go to your eighth graders. You are working with seventh graders and, and, and are uh, getting them out there in the fields. It, it's been a part of your program, it feels like, forever. And, and, you know, obviously you guys are there to, to help them, but you look to your players to really make a difference with them, don't you? Yes, we do. And one of the things that I want to mention uh, firsthand is that part of our program is just not, you know, years and years of playing the game, but they, the work the work ethic that they put into it, I mean, as far as our off-season program, we lift, we agilities, we do all kinds of stuff in, during seventh hour. So one of the things that I wanted to mention was that uh, the hard work that they do put into the program, and it pays off, and that's why towards the end we're, we're getting better. Um, last year we were one game short, and I think this year we're not going to be a game short. I think we're going to go all the way. Um, and that's that's because that's the confidence that I have in these girls that we got right now is um, they can play. And if they put it together and they, they stay together and stay tight, they're going to be successful. Uh, Char, I mean, I think maybe the biggest question mark, and you mentioned a little bit earlier, is is pitching and, and you guys you know, needing to find. I mean, Rosemary graduating last year, she was so big for you guys throughout the season. Um, you know, who do you expect to, to be in the circle? And it seems like it could be kind of a committee thing this year. Well, I get, I, again, I think with the committee, I, we have a couple of pitchers. Um, what was nice last year is we were able to bring up an eighth grader that, that uh, was able to understand her role. And I think just being in the shadow of, of Rosemary, I think Valerie was able to uh, have an understanding of what it takes to, to be there at that level. And we made it state, and we made it through those games. And so she saw um, what it takes, and she's pretty hungry. Uh, of course, she just came out from basketball. But in the meantime, we've had a couple other girls working as well. We have Brandy working, like you said earlier. Um, we have uh, Jessica Lucera working. Oh, we have another eighth grader that's come out. She's um, She's been pretty tough. I, I mean, she's not varsity level yet, uh, but uh, Sonia Granados has come out. And, and there could be somebody else that steps up that right, you maybe right, don't even yeah, know yet. Right, right. We have a couple of kids that are new to the program. Uh, we'll have to see how hard they work and how much that hard work pays off. And I, I would feel like this is maybe one the most com confident you guys have been in, in your hitting lineups and in, in years because it just seems like you've got so much experience and so many people that can do do a lot of really good things for you i feel like offensively we're pretty pretty sound we can um we have lots of looks that we can go to we can we have girls that you know can hit the long ball that uh do well um actually at this point in time they're able to at times place the ball but then we can also play small ball when we need to yeah ronnie do you want to add on to that yeah, one of the things that we do have this year is we have a, a lot of kids that can go both ways, I mean, as far as anywhere in the field. And there's also some backup. I mean, there's some kids that we have that we don't like to carry a lot of high numbers, but we do have we do have quite a few numbers this year that um, we're really impressed with, and it's going to help us as far as pushing each other to make them better. Because at any given time, day, I mean, anybody can jump in there and, you know, you might be playing one game and next next game, if you're not you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, then you can find yourself on the bench. Yeah, absolutely. Taylor, talk about being able to play at State last year. What was that, that experience like for you? I mean, was it, uh, obviously it was a little, I'm sure it was a little uh, nerve wracking, but it, it just seemed like you guys were having so much fun and it was, it was a great run for you guys. Do you feel like that's something that's going to help you out going into this year? Mm, I do, because... Going into state, nobody thought we were going to make it that far, and we ended up getting third, so we actually ended up doing pretty good. And it also seemed, I mean, it, it grew the camaraderie of this group. You guys seem like a, a fun, tight group who enjoys each other's company, or at least you do a really good job at pretending at it. I mean, if you guys don't, then you guys are, are excellent actors, but uh, <laughs> it seems like you guys really get along. Is that something that's, I mean, for as much softball as you played, is that something that's important for a team yeah, for you? Yeah, it is, because when you guys don't get along, nothing works on the field together. So. No. Tori, I feel like you're the cut-up on the team. Is that fair to say? No? 
cuddle. What does that mean? You're 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 the the class clown, the one that is making the oh, jokes yeah, usually. That's oh me. yeah, that's you. Okay. Would you ladies agree with that? No. Yes. No. Taylor says no. <laughs> Taylor from minor business. <laughs> But you know, to be able to have that where you guys can have fun like this is that is that a great is that a, a, an important thing for you guys? It's definitely most important because if we're able to get along on the field and off the field, then it helps the connection for everyone knows what's going on. What was the state experience like for you? Oh, it was a blast. Yeah. I really liked it, and especially when we were winning. Yeah. Bianca, does that make you more hungry to want to get back to that experience yes, and do it again? Definitely. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What? What we're looking forward to in the season. I'm, so, I'm just so ready to play already. <laughs> yeah. You guys get the Las Cruces tournament this weekend. Yes. And I know Coach said, I mean, everybody's maybe played a few more games than you guys. I'm sure that isn't any any worry for you at all, right? No, nope, because we've been at practice working really hard each t each every day. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I've got to, yeah, I was going to say, and i got to imagine that you guys are, are <laughs> doing things to, uh, you know, the fact that you haven't played as many games, that you guys are trying to get them prepared, maybe playing simulation games and things like that. Is that true? Yeah, so Char says yes on that. Uh, Asiana, I mean, um, that whole experience at State last year, I mean, is that something just for your senior year that you wanted to, to get that experience one more time and I'm sure may take that final step and get to the State Championship? Yeah, State was fun because each game we moved on, it just made it that more exciting. So yeah. this year, hopefully we just keep going on. Had to battle back in some games. Had to like, I can't remember which was the game you guys won on the walk off on that. I'll have to remember uh, who that was. Again, was it Valencia or Los Lunas or I, I can't remember which one that Valencia. was. But Valencia. was it Valencia? Okay, yeah. there were a lot of games in about two days. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to remember all of those, I but. Yeah, so it was uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. I, mean, I know from our perspective, and I, I got to think also fun. I mean, you guys had so much fan support up there that that's got to mean a lot to you guys. For as many people to come out and watch you guys every day, right? It does mean a lot. Yeah, yeah. Ayana, I mean the fan support when you obviously you know folks that you know are out there cheering for you when they're traveling to all those games. I mean, how how does that help you as a player to know that there are people out there supporting you like that? It feels good. Extra support from the team and the extra outside too. All right. How about how was your your experience in state? What what did you take away from playing all those games in a couple of days up there against the best teams in New Mexico? Um, it felt like a lot of pressure, but we got through it. Yeah. Brandy, I mean, what was that state experience like for you last year? It was a learning experience for me. I got to watch a lot and learn new things and. I think it's going to help me this year with my game. Yeah, because you were there. I, the thing is, I mean, you were there long for the ride. It felt like the. I mean, I, I saw you at every single game. I mean, for somebody that's hurt, not necessarily required, but you wanted to be there with the team the whole way, didn't you? Yes, I wanted to be there to support them and. Yeah, and certainly have that opportunity. It probably makes you even more hungry to have that opportunity going into yes, this year. Yes, it does. Very. Very much. All right. Um, Coach, I mean, expectations for this year, you guys always have high expectations. I mean, anything less than, you know, competing for a district championship and a state championship, you, you, you don't look at every you, every year is the same for you guys, right, right? Right, The expectation is that we take the, the district first and one game at a time, and then, you know, we go and do damage at the state tournament. And, and again, the expectation is that we have the potential, girls, we have the potential to take it all the way. Yeah, and you know, district last year, you know, Deming I think kind of provided a little bit of a surprise in terms of how competitive they were with you guys. Um, how, how competitive do you feel like the district can be this year? I, th I think Deming's still going to be a competitor. Um, uh, we saw them during the scrimmages, and uh, depending on who wins or loses on Friday, we'll see Deming, Deming possibly again this weekend. <clears throat> I would hope. I would hope not. I would like to see uh, Sandy if we get that opportunity, but it just kind of depends on who wins our game with Mayfield and, and should be us. <laughs> and then uh, and then depending between Sandy and Deming as to who we'll see then. You know, uh, sometimes you, we have to see Deming down the road about four games, so it would be nice to see somebody else. Yeah, get, get a little bit of different experience right. against the team. and um, There's always great competition at that Las Cruces tournament, so right. if you guys win your two games on Friday, you're going to see some really good teams. Right? Yes, yes, sir. You know, overall from the state this year, obviously we saw how good uh, Artesia was last year. And uh, remind me who won the state championship last Aztec. year. Aztec. Aztec won the state championship last year. Um, have things, has the power shifted around a little bit, or are you guys expecting pretty much the same teams? Same teams. I, um, I think it'll be along the same lines. I know that uh, um, we'll, faced, we'll face Artesia on, on Tuesday after the tournament. 
So that'll be a good look for us then. And then we'll probably have to face them again uh, for the Artesia tournament when we go at the beginning, end of March, beginning of April. But um, yeah, I, I would seem to think it would be the same teams. Yeah. I it. just expect us to be on top. Yeah. I, hey, and that's it. You know, Coach R Ronnie, I mean, you obviously, both of you have such huge expectation for this group, and you, you know, um, <laughs> well, one of, the, one of the things that we we try to make sure that the girls understand is that, you know, uh, it, I don't care how many years you've been playing this game. I've played this game t a lot. Forever. And, yeah, <laughs> forever. But anyway, they know that they still have to go out there and produce. I mean, you can go up there and have all the talent in the world, but if you still go for four, that doesn't do the team any good. If you make a couple of errors, that doesn't do the team any good. So the consistency that we're looking for with these girls, I think they understand that now and how important it is that, you know, you just can't go up there just because you're, you've are you been here before that now it should just come natural. No, it's not. you still got to concentrate. you still got to focus. you still got to produce. And I think they're starting to understand that. Yeah. I, something I, and I oh, I think I talk about this during softball season all all season long. How many years now is this for you guys <laughs> coaching, uh, head coach at varsity softball here at AHS? All of them. I, I know it was all of them, but I'm sure what was the first year for the program? 1996. Okay, so there you go. It's uh, 20. This is 22, 23 seasons now. That's that's amazing. I mean, that's one of those things that I don't think to to have that much job security is is got to be a nice thing. And you guys have been consistently good all across it. Is is it crazy to think that it's been that long for y'all? We don't look at that. We don't look at that. That's okay. <laughs> we just, we just <laughs> we'll leave that. We'll leave that one alone. I, I, I think it's impressive. I think it's something that should be celebrated for uh, for how long they've been uh, doing a great job with uh, Almagordo Lady Tiger Fast Pitch, and they've turned it in one of the best programs in the state. Ladies, to be able to play for these two, I mean, Brandy, I mean, to, to be able to play for these two, is it something special for you? Yes, it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, Ayana. You know, getting up to the varsity level, and it's a challenge to get to the varsity level of Lady Tiger Fast Pitch, isn't it? Is it w was that an accomplishment for you when you made the varsity team? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was great. Asiana, I mean, how about you? Knowing that you were going to play for these two and have a chance to, you know, maybe compete for a state championship because that's what they expect, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going for. That's what you're going for, Bianca. That's the expectations. All district, state. <laughs> yes. Yes. All of it. <laughs> All of the above. We're going to do it. All right. Tori, you got any 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 parting shots? I mean, don't don't be nice, but for the rest of the state, <laughs> yeah. do, do they need to look out for Lady Tiger Fast Pitch? Oh yeah, they yeah. got to look out for us. We're taking it all. All right, that's what we want to hear. <laughs> Taylor, um, any, anything less than you guys competing for a state championship is that going to be a disappointment? You feel like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. All right, that's what we want to hear from these ladies. Ladies, good luck this season. Have a lot of fun Thank out you. there. Thank you. Coach, I appreciate Thank the time. You. Thank, Thank you for having us.